world has changed. It's fundamentally changed and the nature of work has changed with it. We need to reimagine education, particularly higher education, because only 6% of the world's population has a college degree. Our current model of education is built on top of some pillars that are suffering tectonic shift. I think we're going to move more towards the types of jobs that where we need creative and innovative thinkers. They're going to have to be technically conversant, digitally fluent, and the education process has got to reflect that. The core of, of higher education is to, to do as experiment, to share your findings so that someone else doesn't reinvent that wheel. But in teaching, that has not been the practice at traditional colleges of those very same researchers. Jobs of now, not just the jobs of the future, require post-secondary knowledge and skills. And so if we don't reimagine education, we're leaving behind a significant portion of the population from the future. I think that there really needs to be attention with any of these paradigm shifts about what is it that needs to be carried over um, and that's crucial as people are excited about trying new things. As we are moving more into the digital age, I think it's very important for millennials to go out and to uh, question themselves, to challenge themselves, to try new things. Technology, cultural, Generational factors are pushing us to really profoundly change from within to come with a new approach to this discipline. Uh, people in EdTech will talk about the power of virtual learning, and yet when we do this, we all fly to a conference room to talk about the power of virtual learning. So we all feel this need to be in the room together. Why do we abandon the principles of thinking about virtual learning and then have to come together to talk about it? And that's because learning, when transformational, is about the experience. We're going to need more people that are going to have entrepreneurial skills, that are going to go out and challenge the status quo, that are going to make new innovation and try new ideas. Can we flip the classroom? Can we use social media to manage questioning? Can we use apps to find a tutor? Uh, these kind of things are all happening. There's ways to make virtual learning meaningful, but true learning, the learning that makes people performers in teams, makes people drivers of innovation, happens when people are with people. Those individuals that are going to survive in this type of job market are going to be the ones that are rethinking about new ways to transform what it is we do. Part of the reason for this conference is to try and draw together all these different people with different pieces of the puzzle and see if by drawing them all together into one space we can find what the real disruption could potentially be.